Senate approves double payments of $1,200 and $2,400 hitting bank accounts this Monday for all low-income Social Security and SSDI recipients. Hello and welcome back to another video from MoneyPro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and latest news on multiple U.S. financial aid programs. All right, let's cut to the chase. In a landmark decision, the Senate has just approved a measure that will provide double payments to low-income Social Security and SSDI recipients. That's right, you heard it here first eligible individuals could receive up to $12, and couples could see as much as $2,400 hitting their accounts as soon as this coming Monday. Now, I know what you're thinking is this for real? Well, let me break it down for you. The details of the decision. The Senate, in a rare show of bipartisan support, passed this emergency measure late last night. The vote was 82-18, showcasing strong backing from both sides of the aisle. This decision comes as a response to the ongoing economic challenges many Americans are facing, particularly those on fixed incomes like Social Security and SSDI. Senator Maria Cantwell, one of the bill's primary sponsors, stated, this is about providing immediate relief to those who need it most. We cannot stand by while our most vulnerable citizens struggle to make ends meet. Who qualifies? Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of who qualifies for these payments. Social Security recipients, this includes retirees, disabled workers, and their dependents. Supplemental Security Income, SSI, recipients. Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, beneficiaries. However, there's a catch this is specifically targeted at low-income individuals and couples. The income thresholds are as follows. For individuals, annual income of $25,000 or less. For couples, combined annual income of $32,000 or less. If you fall into these categories, you could be looking at a significant boost to your finances very soon. The payment structure. Let's break down the payment structure. Eligible individuals will receive a one-time payment of $1,200. Eligible couples will receive a one-time payment of $2,400. These payments are in addition to your regular monthly benefits. They're designed to provide immediate financial relief and stimulate economic activity. The Timeline Now, here's where things get really exciting. The Senate has fast-tracked this measure, and payments are set to start rolling out as early as this coming Monday. That's right in just a few days, millions of Americans could see these funds deposited directly into their accounts. The Treasury Department and Social Security Administration are working around the clock to ensure a smooth rollout. They've stated that most eligible recipients will receive their payments within the first week, with the rollout expected to be completed within 14 days. The Economic Impact Let's take a moment to consider the broader economic impact of this decision. We're talking about injecting billions of dollars into the economy primarily benefiting those who are most likely to spend it immediately on essentials like food, housing, and healthcare. Economists are projecting that this could provide a significant boost to local economies across the country. Small businesses, in particular, are expected to benefit as recipients use these funds for necessary purchases. Dr. Emily Rakowski, a leading economist at the University of Michigan, commented, this type of targeted stimulus can have a multiplier effect on the economy. When low-income individuals receive additional funds, they tend to spend them quickly, which can lead to increased demand and potentially job creation in various sectors. Potential Challenges Now, it's important to address some potential challenges that might arise with this rollout. System overload, with millions of payments being processed simultaneously, there's a risk of technical glitches or delays. Fraud concerns, as with any large-scale financial distribution, there are concerns about potential fraud or scams targeting recipients. Long-term sustainability, while this provides immediate relief, 
Some critics argue that it doesn't address the underlying issues facing Social Security and SSDI programs. The Social Security Administration has assured the public that they're taking all necessary precautions to address these concerns. They bolstered their IT infrastructure and are working closely with law enforcement to prevent fraud. What you need to do. Now, here's the part you've all been waiting for what do you need to do to ensure you receive your payment. The good news is, for most eligible recipients, you don't need to do anything at all. If you're already receiving Social Security or SSDI benefits, and your income falls within the specified thresholds, the payment will be automatically deposited into the same account where you receive your regular benefits. However, there are a few situations where you might need to take action. If you've recently moved or changed banks, make sure your information is up to date with the Social Security Administration. If you typically receive your benefits by check, you might want to consider switching to direct deposit for faster access to these funds. If you believe you're eligible but don't receive your payment within the next two weeks, contact the Social Security Administration for assistance. Protecting yourself from scams. Unfortunately, whenever there's a large-scale financial distribution like this, scammers come out of the woodwork. Here are some crucial tips to protect yourself. The Social Security Administration will never call, email, or text you asking for personal information related to these payments. You do not need to pay any fees to receive this payment. If someone asks for money to process your payment, it's a scam. Be wary of any unsolicited communications claiming to be from the government about these payments. If you're unsure about something, contact the Social Security Administration directly using their official phone number or website. The Bigger Picture While this double payment is certainly welcome news for many, it's important to consider the broader context. This measure is part of ongoing discussions about the future of Social Security and how to ensure its long-term sustainability. Some lawmakers are calling for more permanent increases to Social Security benefits, arguing that the current levels are insufficient to meet the rising cost of living. Others are pushing for reforms to shore up the program's finances and ensure its viability for future generations. The Senate has approved double payments for low-income Social Security and SSDI recipients. Eligible individuals could receive $1,200, while couples could receive $2,400. Payments are set to start rolling out as early as this coming Monday. Most eligible recipients don't need to take any action to receive their payment. Be vigilant against potential scams targeting recipients. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone you know who might benefit from this news. And don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts on this decision and how it might impact you or your loved ones. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.